Okay, activity 7.1, it's worth 30 points. You need to produce this one part on your title block page properly dimensioned. Submit it to Canvas. First thing you should do is open up an IPT. I think you should sketch a circle on the front. The big circle has a diameter of 1.75 circle. Hit escape. When you're fully constrained, you're allowed to extrude. This circle is 0.25 in depth. This would be a good time to change the color. This would be a good time to save this file. Hopefully you know where you're saving your files. I'm going to call this last name 7.1 part 1. Then on the front you should sketch another circle. Diameter is 1.165. This is all from your paper here. Let's see if this works. Circle here, 1.165, enter. You're fully constrained. You're allowed to finish sketch, extrude. Another 0.25. All right, this is where it gets tricky. We're going to sketch on the back. Let's sketch a circle. Point seven two five is the radius, so times two. You could do equal sign two times point seven two five. Okay, you have that circle with that diameter. Let's draw a line from the center all the way to the top. I'm gonna hit finish sketch here. Oops. I'm gonna zoom in, use the hole tool. From sketch, the center is there. Diameter of that hole, 0.172. So pick through hole, that one, 0.172. Okay, so here we go. We need three of these holes. This is not correct. We're going to use circular pattern. This hole around this axis here. We don't want six, we want three. It should look correct. Hit save, open up your title block. Oops, now hit this new piece of paper. Title block, your name, IED, number. Is it okay? Size this up a little, maybe 1.5 to 1. So since it's a circular part, you only need two views. You can even size this one up a little. Okay, ISO is in color. Four text boxes. Top. Front. ISO. Two to one. Magenta. Okay. Let's put our center marks in. That one.
And I think you need crosshairs on these circles. Sure. And then you should dimension these things. So you, let's use the hole and thread tool to dimension this hole here. 0.17 through. It chops off the last digit because Inventor rounds it to two digits. It's all good. Let's dimension from the center to here. Oh, we need to dimension the depths. Oops. So how do you get that TYP text in there? So uh, double click there. Oops. So instead of dimensioning the hole three times, you could just put TYP. That means uh, typical. So you don't have to over dimension the hole three times. I think it looks good. Hit save. Make sure you know where you're saving this thing. Then you export to PDF. Seven last name seven point one part one. Block eights. Pretty sure that's good. You submit this to Canvas along with a second document in a Word document form or text entry for 10 points. These answers to these conclusion questions, which you could find somewhere on this splendid PowerPoint, somewhere over here in Canvas. Thanks for your time. <laughs>